these people's spirit are the same with their predecessors, the Pharisees who cru crucified Jesus Christ on the cross. They have the same kinsman spirit as they have today. When they hear of me, what would these religious people of today say? This uh, Pharisaic spirit will say, he's an impostor. He is not the son of God. We don't believe that for a moment, that he is the, 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 the son of God. We don't believe that for a moment. You're not alone. Hindi kayo nag-iisa. Mga tatay ninyo doon sa, sa Jewish setting, yung mga pariseo, yung mga religious leaders doon, ay pinako si Kristo sa Cruz, you have the same kinsman spirit. You have, or you have inherited the spirit of your unbelieving fathers. I have uh, inherited the spirit of my father. That's why he called me his son. Amen. Do you for one moment believe that I am the one who declared myself as the appointed son of God? Do you believe that for one moment, that I would be so brave and I would be so, so presumptuous to say I am the appointed son of God out of my own authority? If uh, I have said that uh, only upon my authority and the Father did not tell me that and the Father did not proclaim me and the Father did not tell me and I did not hear His voice, I would not dare proclaim myself here because I will not succeed, because I will not prosper, because I am against the devil. And the devil, when he sees that you are an impostor, he will, he will make a mincemeat out of you. This is a spiritual thing. This is a thing in the spirit. When you're an impostor, that's why you impostors there. You cannot say you are the appointed son of God. When the devil hears you saying that, that night he will terrorize you to death. In the morning you're already dead. That is how Adam and uh, Satan, Lucifer, the devil is guarding those that wanted to go to heaven and inherit what the Father has in store for them. Not me, because I was given the authority, the dominion, the power, and the victory. That's why I am here. I am here proclaiming the message. And do you, did you notice that in, my, in, in proclaiming the message of the Father Almighty as he has given me the, the power to become his audible voice, and I say I am the appointed son of God because I am the spokesperson. That is what a spokesperson should do. And uh, the father and son relationship is already here. Is the father talking through his son? And that's why you hear me say uh, and introduce myself as the appointed son of God. That is the father talking through me. Can you stop me from doing it? No, you didn't. You persecuted me. You maligned me. You uh, said all manner of evil against me. Did you, did you stop me? Were you able to stop me? No, you cannot stop me. Because you don't have the power. Because your father, Lucifer, Satan, the devil, is defeated. Amen. And April 13, 2005, is the rule of the Father's righteousness on the earth. No matter what you do, you will not be able to hinder the Father's righteousness on the earth today, administered by his appointed son, no matter what. Amen. That is the sign that I am giving to you, that I am an appointed son of the Father, appointed by him. I only said it because I, was his, I am his spokesperson. If one of you was appointed as the father's spokesperson, like in the time of Moses, Aaron was his, was, was his appointed spokesperson, then I'll not be saying what I'm saying. Somebody else will say it for me. But no, the father elected that I will be at the same time his spokesperson. So it's very corny for me sometimes to hear myself saying, I am the appointed son of God. But what can I do? That is the father and son relationship. When I speak, it is the father that speaks. As you have read in the scriptures in the uh, Jewish setting, when the begotten son came, the father and son relationship was there. What did he say? He said, the words I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the father that lives in me. I and my father are one. Amen. The words I speak, I speak not of myself, but the father that lives in me. So it is not me saying these words, it is him. So when I am saying this, it is not me confirming myself, it is him confirming me. The sign of him confirming this is you cannot hinder me. You cannot stop me. I will progress, I will prosper, because the Father also has said that. I will bless you wherever you go. Did you try your very level best to stop me? You did. You cannot do that because you don't have the power and authority. 
Satan, Lucifer, the devil, is defeated. Yeah. He is no longer in power. It is the Father that is in power through his appointed son. Yeah. That's why here, right now, is the good news, that you can be delivered from where you are and be translated into the uh, kingdom of his dear son. Colossians 1.13. Yes, Pastor, who had delivered us from the power of darkness and had translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. This is what is, this ministry is all about. So when you hear my message, you accept it, you'll be transferred from your grave of sin to the Father's uh, marvelous light through uh, the ministry of his pointed son being transferred into the kingdom of his dear son. The kingdom of heaven is on the earth today. As we have said last night, I am just repeating the message of my Almighty Father in the Jewish setting when he said, Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. His Son today is proclaiming, Repent for the kingdom of heaven is here. Amen. You can become a child of God right now, a son and a daughter. You come and then surrender your serpents. What's wrong about that? These people are very crazy about titles. They are very crazy about titles. That's why we have the title, Son of God. You know, they went, they, went, uh, they went bananas over that. They are so crazy about titles. Pastor, or, or bishop, or superintendent, whatever. You know, when you go to heaven, and when you face him in judgment, he doesn't care about your titles. Not one of your titles will be recognized in heaven. You will only be recognized in heaven as either a son of God or a son of the devil. That's all. You will be known there if you are a son of God or a son of the devil. When you are a son of God, he will say, come in into the kingdom. If you are a son of the devil and repented, go into hell and destruction. There is no other question. There is no alibi and complaint and say, Ah, uh, we've done so many miracles in your name. Ah, uh, we have spoken in tongues in your name. Ah, uh, we have done so many wonderful works in your name. All of you religious people who are listening to me, listen to your complaints one of these days. You'll be saying that. Oh, I am a superintendent in our school. Oh, I am a Sunday school superintendent. Oh, I am the assistant pastor. Oh, I am the bishop. Oh, I am the... He doesn't care about all of that. Those titles will never be able to save you. You will only be able to save yourself when you come accept my message, repent, and then eschew and eradicate the serpent seed and say, from now on, Father, not my will, but your will be done. They are so crazy about titles, they forget my message. And they're so crazy about their titles, they don't care about their message. Their message doesn't bear out fruit to become sons and daughters of the Father Almighty. They don't see that. Me? You know, I am nothing if my message is not true. Look, you know, if you are intelligent, listen to my message. My message is repent, surrender, and say, Father, from now on, not my will, but your will be done. If you are an intelligent person, you will understand that I came from God just because of what I am saying as a message. Amen. Oh, kung matalino kayo, alam ninyo, galing ako sa Diyos. Yan lang mensahe ko, malalaman na inyo. Hindi kayo matalino dahil mga serpent seed kayo ang ayaw sumuko. Now, lahat naman ang mabubuti, those that have done good and to the resurrection of life, I welcome you to the kingdom. I love all of you. I thank the Father because you have understood the enlightenment of this message. You can now come all of you, and then become sons and daughters of the Father Almighty, and let Revelation 21.7 be a fulfillment in your life also. What does it say? It says, He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I'll be his father, and he shall be my son. He didn't say, he shall be my superintendent. <laughs> He shall be my pope, he shall be my bishop, he shall be my pastor, he shall be my minister, he shall be my Sunday school superintendent. You are so crazy about your titles, you forgot that only sons and daughters of the Father will go to heaven. And only sons and daughters, uh, you can only be called sons and daughters if you don't have the serpent seed. If you don't have the human will or the serpent seed come of life.